And this one is from Lou LaBelle. And the comment goes, I'm having a really hard time with my 14 week old Great Pyrenees puppy biting. I've been controlling space. I control resources. I have tried positive reinforcement. I've tried scruffing. I'm a very experienced dog owner. I've had everything from Great Danes to Dachshunds to Minpins to Mutts. I've never, and I mean never, had such a willful, stubborn dog. When I correct her by scruffing or taking her collar and holding her body against me, she just gets more worked up. Any advice? So I'm gonna go by, go through it piece by piece. First of all, congratulations on the addition to your family. Play biting is normal and natural for a dog, for a puppy. It is much like a young child who might be crawling instead of walking. It's a stage that dogs go through as they develop. Um, I've tried positive reinforcement in order to stop this problem. Um, so once again, you could have the, the best cheese in the world and you hold it too high, the child will reach for it, the child will try to get up, you know, they'll fall over and next, if you drop it, they're gonna always be crawling, you know, cause they're 16 months old. And when they get to 18 months or two years old, they're gonna start walking and that's fine. You know, cause that's the natural development of the child. I have tried scruffing. Scruffing, by the way, for those of you who don't know, is when you grab the dog by the scruff and you kind of, some people will just pin or will shake the dog in order to let the dog know that it's not behaving in a way that they agree with. It comes out of the idea that mother dogs will pick puppies up by the scruff. Some people just hold the scruff. And really, if you hold a dog scruff and you pull it a little bit, a young puppy, a lot of times they'll just relax because there is something there that they're used to. It is not a mean technique. It could be done by a mean person making the mean technique, but a lot of times people use it as a way to correct the behavior. Um, in my case, the way I think about it, puppy play biting is a natural behavior that dogs do at that certain stage. The dog is gonna grow out of it. It is not a behavior that needs to be corrected. I know I do have videos on this channel showing how to do a puppy hold. The main purpose of that hold is to calm the puppy down and to show the puppy you know, that I can still touch them. I could prevent them from biting me if I want to. I have changed and do things a little bit different now than I did even in that video and I hope to make another puppy video soon in which I show you know these improved techniques. But um, I would not necessarily use scruffing for this either. The commentator goes on to say, I am a very experienced dog owner. All right, so as a very experienced dog owner, then you understand what I understand, which is dogs only have one pointy end. Right, and our job with a puppy is to stay away from that pointy end. I understand that it's inflamed. And I understand that dogs don't have fingers to really itch. That's why they're chewing on the couch because that bite in motion allows them to itch and soothe their gums, right? That's why they're chewing on your hands too. So what I do is I keep the puppy somewhere safe. I give them things to chew on that's gonna be safe for them. And I like to give them cold things because that will reduce some of the inflammation and make it easier. But the biggest thing at this stage is to avoid and to distract and to remove and not really correct or reward too much. It's just what dogs do at this stage. The thing that I'm next interested in is I have never, and I mean never, had such a willful and stubborn dog. Um, how we speak is definitely gonna affect our reality, you know? Um, Henry Ford once said, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And that's kind of the same thing I'm going for here, is that um, if I think the dog is willful, if I think the dog is stubborn, then I've already poisoned the well. I've already taken on, if you consider willful a negative term, and if you consider stubborn a negative term, I've already given that dog you know, negative space in my mind, right? What I would like to do is instead challenging, you know, it's just figuring out the dog. I don't wanna feel like, like it's negative, like it's a bad thing. We have to figure out the dog and figure out how to communicate with the dog. A stubborn dog is a wonderful thing because stubbornness to me is patience. The dog is showing patience. And if you get a stubborn dog um, to do what you want them to do, they will stubbornly work for you. So if I get a stubborn dog, I teach them how to sit. It might take them a while to get them to do it and so forth, but eventually they understand it and I tell them to sit. That dog is gonna be just as stubborn about sitting as it was about not sitting before, which is gonna be really helpful to me. 
you know so i want you to kind of think about it that way as you're working with your dog figuring out how to share with each other so that way you're able to change the way that you think about the dog and change the way the dog thinks about what you're working with you don't want it to be conflict you don't want it to be look we want i want to go this way and the dog's like i want to go this way you want to find a shared goal you know where you can work together towards achieving that is the biggest thing I could say about that. I wouldn't do any restraining or anything like that with this dog. Um, really quickly, stubborn dogs, um, Great Pyrenees, they are bred to be willful animals, you know? So that's just kind of the dog we have. I hope this is helpful.